interesting. So, Saad, if we know that one of the biggest difficulties in executing these can be cooperation from the outgoing vendor, we want to, in the future, get ahead of that, as Abhishek was saying, from a contractual point of view, and make sure as we're getting in that we know we have an out, that we know they're going to have to cooperate on these projects. Ha Number one, have you had challenges without naming names? Have you had challenges with vendors being sunset in terms of them cooperating to help you transition off of their software? Um, and have you put more thought into contracting to help you exit if and when you want to? So I think that's a great question. And I'll, and I'll answer that question in the inverse way. So I'll answer the second part first. Uh, yes, we are taking a very, very um, thoughtful approach now when it comes to signing any contracts where, and, and most of the time, I think right now, the new systems, ancillary specialty systems are in the cloud. So we are taking a very thoughtful approach to how does that data first, how is it collected, where is it kept? There's, of course, the whole cybersecurity piece mm -hmm. of it where you're actually evaluating the infrastructure behind the vendor, uh, what they utilize. And then you're also looking at that out clause. How does that data, who owns it after the fact and in, and in perpetuity? And then how do we actually get it back out if we need to? Um, in terms of the experiences, it's, it's been a varied bunch. So I can say this, that uh, I have dealt with, I would say over a dozen different uh, instances uh, in, in terms of dealing with sometimes the same vendor, but with a different account person, uh, with a different contract and so on and so forth. Um, none of them have ever said, no, you can't have the data. But what usually happens is because you are canceling a contract, they're not going to say, hey, I'm going to put my star engineer uh, on your account to help you get the data in the exact way that you need so you can smoothly archive this. Uh, so what's going to happen is they're going to kind of they're going to start off with saying, hey, we're just going to export this out with our most standard way that we export out data for you and we're going to deliver it. These are your options. Pick one. Um, the issue is, is what we all discussed a little bit ago, which is that usually there is some level of thoughtfulness that goes into this project. It's not a very standard turnkey thing. And so as you're going through that initial analysis and review to figure out what you will actually need to do, you and your partner, uh, um, what will usually happen is that you may go back to that application vendor and say, hey, we would like to have our data in this manner instead. We know you're capable of doing it. Can you just do this? And they will sometimes, you know, put up roadblocks because it may require extra hours, billable hours from their side that they may come back to you and say, we may need to charge you to do X, Y, and Z. So there is a little bit of negotiation from the, uh, from the folks that are actually dealing with that account. Uh, sometimes it gets escalated up to the CIO. Sometimes the CIO may not need to step in, but it is a little give and take. Uh, so that's where I have seen issues. It's never a, no, you absolutely cannot have your data. It's more of a how that gets to you. It, yeah, and that, it, Chuck, and that has to be done at the beginning of the contract. Unfortunately, you know, as Saad and myself, we move around, we inherit these contracts, right? So, you know, it comes down to the 60, 90 day termination and you've got to go off of what the existing contract is. But assuming you're going into a new one, you know, think about it, it all good contracts, are done when you when you manage the divorce first. Yeah, right. You, you go into the divorce first and you map that out. So when you give that 60, 90 day notice, whatever it is, what happens then? What What is my responsibility as a customer? What is the vendor's responsibility? And, um, you know, all the things that you unwind, how you get your data, you map that all out in very detailed, right? Because a lot of times, just like in a regular marriage, you know, you go into these new vendors and it's all euphoria. Oh, my God, this thing is going to solve all the problems of the world here. Oh, I can't wait. And, uh, you know, three, four years later, it's like, whoa, this thing's a dog now and it's not working and we got to move on. And and, uh, you know, let's shake hands and be friends. But, you know, if you don't do that divorce aspect before the marriage aspect, you're 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 really going to go down a wrong path. And we and we all know because we're. We're constantly trying to unwind these things and Abhishek's in the middle of it as well, trying to get the data and being nice to the, the vendors, but they, they have no, 
you know, they've got other clients that are, you know, they have no real, there's no real benefit to them to help you except that, um, you know, the good ones want to go out on a high note. 